starting this vlog in a very interesting position. I just filmed a makeup video right there. This is not, oh God. This is not the, the setup that's gonna be. The desk is literally chilling in the middle of the room right now. Lamp is stacked on some boxes and things, but that felt good. It was the shadow and schmooze. I'm pretty sure the shadow and schmooze will be up before this vlog. There's a lot of work that needs to be done in this room. I have the standing desk with the treadmill, which I'm currently squatting on, which has been so amazing to have this again and be able to work and walk at the same time, life-changing. But clearly I need to figure out how I'm gonna be filming in here and also just like the makeup storage. I'm gonna do some research and actually order something because I've been procrastinating on the makeup part. I am gonna check Facebook Marketplace and some of the thrift stores and stuff because I am so done with building furniture. <laughs> I still have one more thing I need to build, this like cabinet for the hallway. I think that's the last thing, hopefully, besides the makeup storage. Building furniture, full-time job. This was the setup, so I moved the desk, which was against that wall over here because this is the good way for the lighting. But I think what I might wanna do is obviously keep the desk against the wall, but then get like a folding table just for filming so I can just put my makeup and mirror and stuff in front of it, and then have that in kind of like the background of the videos with maybe the lamp on the corner or something. Here's what I have right now. This is where the plants were stacked and that on the hamper. And then I had my mic inside the drawer like that. <laughs> huge plant haul for you. So went a little ham in um, Lowe's and Home Depot. Got a lot of plants, got a lot of pots. These are not obviously gonna be staying here, but just to show you. Let's start on this side, shall we? So this one's from Home Depot. Love this pot. Home Depot I feel like has better pots than Lowe's. Their pricing is also good. I will say because of the cold outside, going from Home Depot and like bringing them inside, a couple of them already have like little frostbite and stuff. But this is, I think it's a ZZ plant. Yeah, I used to have one of these actually in Seattle. These get really tall and drapey, so that'll look cool. I know nothing about plants, by the way. So just viewing shit. I love the leaves on this one. I don't know how big this is gonna get, but look how pretty those leaves are. I think this one was Lowe's. This is probably my favorite guy because look at the leaves on this. I just think that pattern is so beautiful. It's a little tiny one. I might paint the terracotta, but I also kind of like the warmth feather hanging lighter leaves really pretty liked the blue just to add in some color i think i might hang this one in the office or in the living room by the tv this one i think was home depot came with the pot and i thought it'd be really cute on my office desk i think there's like wrap on here but this one don't know what it is looks pretty has shiny leaves very shiny it almost looks fake honestly love this glass jar you can see the roots and lastly this one i don't think came with the pot but i think this was from lowe's forgot about this one he was hiding on the coffee table i think this one was lowe's it did not come with the pot you have to buy it separately so this lamp i got at ross the other day and i think it's gonna be really cute with the chair with the white same Excuse me, how do I turn this off? This just started going. Anyways, um, as I was saying, oh my God. That vacuum has a mind of its own. Gonna have to figure that out at a different point. But anyways, here's the Ross lamp. Got it for 25 bucks. I like the material, it feels like a plaster kind of thing. I think this will be cute, maybe in the background of my videos, like with the desk in the corner. It. have my down jacket on because i just got inside and it is chilly in here i've been dog sitting at a different house for the last like week and i come back here tomorrow but i just wanted to like clean up vlog get things in order so i have a lot to do because someone was here the last week and a half so there's just a lot of like cleaning up organizing when i come back tomorrow i want everything to just be ready to work no clutter clean towels clean sheets all of that so my plants are looking a little questionable some of them are thriving there's a few in the window some are like fully dead but i only want to be here for a couple hours because i don't want to leave the dogs too long so i think i'm going to start with the laundry so at least we can get that going Ooh, except that's going to be hard to vlog with the laundry sound i need to fully vacuum there's like a ton of styrofoam and stuff on the ground from just breaking down boxes and building furniture and stuff but this i have not shown yet so 
This is a new addition right here. There's nothing even in there yet. I'm gonna talk about why I have an air purifier uh, later because there was a situation, but that's a massive air purifier. This is a little cabinet that we built from Amazon. I like the look of, it was difficult to build and also was like missing some holes and stuff. So I'll link it. I don't know if I particularly recommend it. The seller has also been very not okay to deal with. This round mirror was from Ross, needs to be cleaned up there but to get it hung i'm probably going to put one of the plants here and then i'm going to put the coffee machine actually here which i haven't unboxed yet i've just been using pour over but there's a plug right there and i think it'll look really cute it's like tan and this leads into the kitchen so i feel like it works but i want to get like a cute little mug rack stand kind of thing right there and make it like a little coffee station and then obviously there's a bunch of storage in here. Okay, showing you the curtains closed. I ordered a different color. I don't know how I feel about this color. I feel like it actually looks decent right here, but it looks a little like hospital to me and like too sterile. I don't know. I think I'd rather just have like cream curtains and then I might be changing around the brown pillow color. I actually ordered two backups that are here. So once I clean the sheets and stuff, we're gonna switch that out and see how it looks. I like the contrast of these ones, but I think I need a lighter long pillow in front to like break up some of the darkness or do lighter ones, but yeah. I'm gonna have to recruit a friend though to help me get these down because they're super tall. These ceilings are really tall. The closet is not organized at all. I think what I'm gonna do is I might go to Ikea and just get the classic like Alex 9 drawer. I just feel like it's still one of the best for makeup storage. And if it's in a closet, I don't really care what it looks like, but I might move this whole thing to like that wall because I don't reach for this stuff as much and then just have my makeup storage right here. This is obviously not gonna be in the middle of the room like that. I'm gonna put it against that wall. And then I did order a fold out table to film on, but as you can see, this is still, we've got, <laughs> some organizing to do in here. I'm gonna start with laundry. So the towels I just pulled off are from Costco, but I found these ones on Kohl's and these were cheaper. I got them on sale too, and they feel very similar. They're like a good amount of thickness, super soft. I'll link these down below, but I'm gonna throw these in the wash too. placed an order on Etsy. I think this company, this brand was from Australia. This is like exactly the look I was going for. I wanted a really chunky chain like this. I think it looks so cute and like layered with a shorter one. Some of the coffee parts are soaking in warm water and soap. I'm gonna clean those off after, but I've been procrastinating setting up this freaking vacuum. I've read so many manuals in the last month, setting up things, furniture, that this is just like, this looks like my personal hell right now, but we're gonna do it. Okay, today's the day. Here's the vacuum. This might be in backwards, I actually don't know. It keeps like turning on on its own. named Mr. Shark Bruce. Bruce is starting to explore and map out the rooms. Okay, I'm obsessed with these little cocktail glasses. They're actually pretty big. I'm about to be so shocked if none of these broke because the seller did not package them well. They were shipped by a seller, not by Kohl's, but I got them on Kohl's, but they were just like floating with a little bubble wrap. Beautiful, love that periwinkle. Oh my God, these are gonna look so pretty. This stuff is not like how it's gonna be yet. Just have things kind of like thrown up here, but I thought these colors would look really pretty with the wine glasses and then like the blue bowls. Similar kind of kind of feel just like stocked up there. I need to get an actual little plant for that pot. Or what? A pot for that plant. This one I actually made in ceramics class. It's my one bowl that I kept. You know, work in progress, but I like the color. I'm gonna wash these obviously, but I just wanted to kind of see how it could look. I might put two of the other colors up there to like break up some of the blue. And then I'm gonna have like a drapey plant. So I'm swapping out 
the pillows. I'm going to see. I got two different options. It's the same exact pillow because I do like, it's like the boucle kind of thing. I think that's how you say it. It's like popular right now, this kind of material. I like the actual pillowcases and I'll link the inserts down below. I really like the inserts I got. They have the nice like choppability, you know, which apparently chopping is out. I don't care. <laughs> I think it looks good. I'm tired of people like saying things are in and out, you know, it's like, let's just I'll do what we want to do. So this one is like a light camel, it looks like. Honestly, it might work good because as you can see, it's not as warm as this blanket. Might tie things in nicely. Oh, this one is more cool toned. I think this is gonna be a no. I don't even wanna take this all the way out. Hmm. Let me show you this way. Keep in mind, it's like pretty dark right now. I just have the overhead light on so the color would look a little different in natural light, but yeah, that's too much all of the same. I think this one, I do like the brown because of the lamps. I mean, maybe I keep the brown, but then get a pillow that color to put in front of them. I am gonna switch one of them just so we can see what it looks like. I also do wanna see it in natural light tomorrow. So with the insert, if you want the pillows to be poofier, you wanna do the same thing that I talked about with the duvet where get one size smaller of the pillow cover than the insert. It's just like squishier and more poofy. If you get them the same size, they'll just, look like flatter pillows. I don't know. I'm honestly kind of leaning towards the dark one and then just getting a lighter pillow in front. Oh yeah, I'm kind of surprised, but I think I do like the dark better. Keep in mind, I'm gonna have something above the bed. It looks very just plain and like sterile right now, but <laughs> at the pan on the bed so I could put my tripod right there. But I guess you need to see it with the blanket. Yeah, I like the dark. Okay, urgent care this morning, <laughs> vlogging this afternoon. I'm gonna show you a couple apartment updates and also point out mostly for myself so when I look back, I can see which one I like the best. I tried the Madison Reed brown conditioner. I've been trying so many. I'm gonna eventually do a TikTok or Instagram reel or something on like my favorite ones. I'm just gonna make this brief because I know a lot of you don't care about this. But so far, I think it is my favorite color wise. I feel like it has a nice like rich tone to it. My hair felt really soft rinsing it out. It did cut out a decent amount of red. I feel like it darkened it a nice tone, but it still looks nice and brown and it has like a richness to it. So I feel like I would use that one again. I'm more just curious how long it's gonna stay in my hair because these color conditioners just rinse out every time you wash your hair basically. So it was really easy to put on though and I only left it on for like 10, 15 minutes. I'll show you the apartment updates. Exciting new addition that I haven't shown yet is this island. It's kind of hard to show the angles without showing like outside. So it actually fits really nice. There's totally enough room right there and right there to like sit. It looks, looks more cramped on camera than it does in real life, like between the couch and there. I'll have both of them linked down below. The kitchen island is from Ikea and the bar stools are from Wayfair. My main thing with the kitchen island was that I wanted it to have some kind of storage because I thought I was gonna need actually Right now, don't even need more storage, but there's two huge shelves here, which is really nice. Nice quality, like heavy duty Ikea. But I had actually ordered the bar stools already to go with a different kitchen island. I'll pop in a photo of the kitchen island I was gonna go with. That one ended up being back ordered until May. So I canceled that order and ordered the Ikea one. So if I had known that, I probably wouldn't have done the wood just because it's like the same tone. I don't know. I think I would have done maybe something different with the bar stools, but I still like how it looks and it pulls together like the warmth from there. And then when you're standing from this angle, it looks really nice because you have that wood. And then I'm going to add, you know, things on the wall. There's, this is not done at all, but the stools themselves are really nice. Like if you need stools like this, it's, they're nice and comfortable. I hate sitting on hard, hard stools. They have that like little cushiness from the leather top. And I think they also come in a different color cushion, maybe like tan and white, I think. But my main thing with the island was that I wanted to have the shelving and then I also wanted it to be bar stool seating because there's, you know, obviously I don't have a dining room table in here. I do like the look of the black because I just think it ties in like some of the kitchen stuff with the fireplace, with the TV over there and the coffee table. Those two things are black and I kind of just like hide the trash can on this side, which is nice because you can literally only see the trash can when you're standing right here, which you never are. It's a super big countertop. I wanted more like cooking space and just space to do things because it's really like that counter is it because this counter I have the air fryer and other shit that I need to set up over there. But like that's kind of the only counter space. So it's nice that now I have all this room to cook and chop and stuff too. However, just a disclaimer though, if you're gonna be 
getting this kitchen island you definitely need two people and make sure you're putting let me see if i can show you okay these assholes make sure you're putting those things in the right holes because we were doing good up until those I accidentally put it in the wrong hole and that took like a half hour to just get one of those out we, i had like tweezers it was like a whole operation i literally felt like i was playing that game just be careful with that step otherwise very easy to put together you just need two people because you have to like hold multiple things at one time and just like looking at everything from this direction now i think it definitely warms up the place more than just having like the super cold cool tones so i like that again it's not done i might actually even be painting this wall I was thinking about that last night. Hear me out. I'm thinking about doing kind of like a mix between a forest green and an emerald green. But what I'm thinking is potentially the whole wall, but then doing like all the way up on either side of the fireplace, kind of like a lighter tone of that same exact green, just to break it up and almost make it look like a tall mantle right there. Or just doing the wall all one color and then putting foresty or like blue green kind of piece of art above the fireplace. That's what I'm thinking for now. It is a big wall. Also right here, I might put a standing big plant or some like something needs to go right there. Just kind of break it up. Maybe like a basket with blankets or something like something definitely needs to go right there but it just looks super bare right now because there's nothing on the walls and it's white i think it might look really nice because it would almost like bring attention to that wall with the pretty fireplace and stuff obviously there's a lot of things i would do different in a house than what you're able to do in an apartment so like i would have many ideas <laughs> if this was a house that i was staying in for a while with the wall i think what i might do is put a maybe like a floating bookshelf up there or if i do the thing where it's a different color right above it i could kind of like stagger the bookshelves to just like bring your eye up even more i think that actually could look good this is a big wall though so i feel like i do need to put something here i might like frame photos or use actually comment down below if you've used what's the one that i always see instagram ads for mixed tiles they like stick on i think it's mixed tiles let me know your favorite website framing art and stuff. In the past, I've just printed at CVS or Walgreens and then done the framing myself. I feel like that's like the easiest, cheapest way to do it. Framing is one of those tasks that I always like dread doing, but then when I'm doing it, it's easy. I feel like the hardest part of framing is just measuring and ordering the right sizes and stuff. I did move this for now into this corner. I don't know if I'm keeping it over here. I think it still will reach the kitchen enough. It's supposed to be like... I think 1200 square feet, so it should be fine. There were too many electrical things on the same fuse, like I blew the circuit. And the TV is mounted, hallelujah, it's off the ground. So the coffee cart is now a little bit more set up. I can't remember if I talked about this, but I fried these plants. My living room almost gets like too much light to where <laughs> the plants are like, save us, we need darkness. So I moved them over here, hoping it gets revived. This one is also a little droopy looking. It definitely needs a sun break. So I used this coffee machine for the first time this morning and I freaking love it. I feel like this is the best combo of like a just normal coffee machine like drip and Keurig because you can literally do both. It's by Ninja. I used the brew cup this morning, but basically you can put in as much coffee as you want, like your own, you know, just ground coffee in here or I need to clean the drip tray, but down here, this is genius. You pull this out, it's also really cool, just like built-in scoop cup for the grounds. You can use this pot adapter and you just remove that, put in the pot adapter, and then you can use any K cups or like compatible pods. So I just think that's the best of both worlds, especially if you're someone, if you live alone or you don't wanna make a ton of coffee at once. Like I usually have one strong cup in the morning and then one cup in the afternoon. So this is, perfect and then also of course you could use like tea pods or any of the other k-cup pods as well here's the options on the top you can change the brew size here and then it automatically recognizes the coffee grounds versus the pod depending on what adapter you have in so you don't have to change it it has a nice big water holder back there so you don't have to like refill it every single time. The color, let's talk about the color because I freaking hunted this thing down. So this is a beautiful light tan color. I think it comes in white and black too, but the tan color I had my eye on like before I even had an apartment. I had it saved in my Amazon cart. And then of course, right when I signed the lease and I was like ready to order it, they were sold out everywhere of the tan color. So I, whatever, it was a whole witch hunt I ended up getting the tan color. Since then, it has come in and out of stock back again. So even if it's not in stock when this video goes up, it might come back 
just keep checking. Over here I have my water kettle. This is just like a cheap like $15 one from Amazon. I like it though because it has this really pretty blue light and like at night when I heat it up, when the light's off, it looks really pretty against the wall. I just use this for my hot water bottle for my body and then also tea and whatnot, obviously. Oh, here you can see the color a little better right now. It's like a really pretty, super light tan. And then inside, maybe you can, yeah, I guess you can just see all this better right now without that overhead light. Here's the circle mirror I showed you. Cleaned that off. This isn't done done. There's still a lot of room in here actually, but basically this is like my coffee tea station. So I wanted everything just in one place. I guess I do need this light. I have my mug set up over here. So in the morning I can just grab my mug, put it up there. Over here I have sweet drop things. These are all just like teas, emergency, different kind of tea back there. Here's the pour over. I really like this. This is what I've been using up until I set up the coffee machine. I really like pour over. I think it tastes really good. You can make it really strong. This one is super nice because it's mesh. So you don't have to buy coffee filters and deal with that. You just dump it and rinse it out. Instant coffee for when I'm not feeling well and just need to make it really fast. I actually really like the taste of that Trader Joe's one though, the instant coffee. Here's the ground coffee I currently have. Really like that one. I have a Thrive vanilla ground back there. Thrive matcha. Haven't tried this yet, but chai latte from Chamberlain Coffee. And I just have some games and stuff in here. There's a lot of room back here still. So like if I need the room and I might put like board games and stuff in here too, and just put like all the teas in this thing. Cause there's still half this bottom cabinet basically. But this morning it was so fun getting to make coffee in my new coffee station. These cords I'm gonna like clean up and make them flatter. I had to order a different extension cord thing. It was that kind of a day. Chipotle. <laughs> I switched it up and got the salad this time, but with half chicken, half sofritas, no rice. You have to get the Chipotle corn, it's so good. Shark vacuum update. I've ran it one full time so far, and when I came home, it was very clean. Like it definitely worked. There was a couple lines like against one of the walls over here where it had missed, like it didn't go right up against the wall. I think you can program it. If it misses an area, you can just reprogram it but everything else, yeah, it looked very clean. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this, and obviously so far I've only used it one time, but I will just say, if you are a chronic pain gal, pretty life-changing because moving vacuum all over the place for a half hour can flare you up, and this was nice to like take out that one step. Obviously mopping is a different story, but to not have to do that regularly is very nice. Just realized, even though I have a desk now with a chair, I haven't sat here to work one time. Filmed here, but I might do some editing at my little desk. This chair is super comfortable. So speaking of editing, I'm gonna edit this vlog that you're watching right now. So I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Next vlog, I'm gonna tackle the office. Hopefully, depending on, wait, did I even tell you? I actually found the perfect, basically I found the Alex Knight drawer things on Facebook Marketplace, already built, ready to go. Someone snatched him. So now I'm committed. I'm gonna be refreshing Facebook Marketplace so I don't have to build more furniture. <laughs> so if I find something, I'll be able to get that closet organized sooner rather than later. If I don't find something, I'll get those drawer things in about three weeks a month. I feel like the office is just at a standstill until closet organization gets in. Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.